I'm happy to present to you the new WePad. First off, let's just mention a couple of things. Uh, the device is typically held horizontally like this. Uh, it's got a 16 by 9 horizontal screen with a better resolution than the iPad. A big problem with the iPad is that you have to constantly move things around with your finger while holding the device in one hand. Here we've got a thumb navigation, meaning that you can navigate while holding the device comfortably in your hand. Um, you can now start up any applications you'd like. Uh, let me open up a new site for you here, for example. Uh, once I'm on the web page, I can scroll up and down using uh, the sidebar on the left. Again, uh, you can navigate easily without having to place the device on a surface. Here you can switch between apps with my right thumb. Here's a simple news app, for example. I can easily navigate through the categories with uh, my left thumb. I can always easily go back to the home screen with my right thumb. Uh, you can also obviously navigate through the menu with your index finger. Uh, if you need to browse through pictures, for instance. Um, you can also open up a preview window uh, showing which apps are uh, currently running in uh, background mode. Um, as you can see, it's a real Linux multitasking device. Uh, let me quickly show you the uh, on-screen keyboard here. Um, let's just open the internet and uh, search for something simple on a search engine. There, I found what I was looking for. As you can see, it went pretty fast, and we're going to be working on making it uh, even faster in the future. Um, what else can I show you? Again, uh, the multitasking is built into the home screen. Uh, your widgets can be used live directly from the home screen. Um, here, with Google Maps, for example, you move things around without having to open the application. Uh, we have an online store. You can browse through the articles without having to actually look at them. you got your live weather. You've got your uh, news headlines up there live, so you can quickly get a news overview without actually having to start the app. Um, personally, I prefer to put all my favorite tools at the bottom of the screen. Got my calculator, phone book, etc., all there. Um, let me actually show you how the music works on this device. So there are um, USB ports located on the side, plus an SD card slot. This means that I can connect any external device, whether a keyboard, a mouse, a hard drive, DVD player, or just a USB stick. Uh, let me show you how this works uh, by popping one in here. It takes the system a few seconds to recognize the USB device. As soon as it does, a tab pops up exactly next to the actual USB port. I can uh, then click on it and uh, it tells me what kind of files are on it. Uh, oops, I just accidentally pressed on something else. Let me close that. So the device is showing me that there are audio files available. Then I can press on a button to play a random track, for example. And there you go, you can hear the music. Uh, you can also select individual files or browse through pictures, open Microsoft Word documents, um, the WePad is, of course, Linux-based, but the touchscreen has been specifically designed to make the device easy to use for every single user. So no one should have any worries about the Linux technology. Okay, um, so let me just um, disconnect the USB stick here. All right. It needs to buffer for a couple more seconds before the music stops playing. As you can see, it's really intuitive and simple to use for every user out there. And um, let me just quickly show you how to arrange and personalize the widgets on your home screen. Uh, first, what you got to do is uh, open up our uh, store interface right there. And uh, as you can see, you can move your widgets around or you can add a new widget to your screen. The design is going under some improvements, so we're going to make it better to make it look a little slicker in the future. Uh, you have all your usual categories on the side here. Let's click on Finance and Markets, for example. Um, let's say you want to download the Capital app. Um, click on it, and bam, it's right there on your widget screen. Position it where you'd like, and there it is on your home screen. Um, so that was a free application. If it's a payable download, you have the choice of purchasing it using a variety of payment methods. Uh, in this respect, you've got a lot more flexibility than with the iPad, for example. 
Again, as I said, this is a Linux-based device that's been thoroughly customized. As a result, we have a built-in open source email client that supports both POP and IMAP. Um, you can also edit files downloaded from the browser with OpenOffice. Um, there's also a pre-installed file browser available for playing music files or any other files that you happen to upload onto the device. As you've seen with the other apps I've shown you, Adobe Air and Flash run perfectly smoothly, um, as well as Android apps. Um, we're still fine-tuning the interface to give it a better and more designed look for the user, but the user in any case won't notice what particular technology is being used at the moment. Um, an advanced user can switch the device to expert mode and install apps directly onto the device without having to use the store from a USB stick, for example but then obviously loses any support on the software. Um, so it's basically a kind of authorized jailbreak. Um, this doesn't cancel out your hardware uh, warranty, so you shouldn't be too worried about that. Um, and I, let's, uh, let's actually just get right down to it and let me show you how a flash works on this device. Uh, let me just uh, zoom in onto the WePad again. All right, let's look up something online. Let's go to YouTube. All right, let's pick. Uh, let's just pick some random, random video. Let's wait for it for a little to load. Um, all right, what looks cool here? Uh, let's try something out here. I don't know. Uh, let's try this video for example. As you can see, the flash loads instantly. The video starts uh, playing as normal. Flash works really well. Uh, not only with videos, but also with any kind of flash navigation on websites and online stores. It's being used a lot right now. Um, of course, you can also uh, view the video in full screen here. No problem. There you go. The video still jerks around a bit. Uh, we're working together with Adobe on a more optimal version of this player, specifically for this device. Um, it should be all taken care of by the time this device uh, hits the market in July. We have a built-in HDMI port as well, and a full HD chip in the bigger version so you can watch all your HD film in top quality. I just wanted to take some time here to go over all the built-in ports available. Uh, you've obviously got a built-in speaker right here. Um, there's also a mic and a camera up there for a Skype video chat, for instance. You've got two USB ports uh, located right there. We're releasing drivers so that you'll be able to connect a DVB-T stick to it. Um, we've got to work a bit more on making the installation process seamless uh, for the user especially. Uh, you've also got an HDMI port right there. It works uh, great to connect your device to both uh, televisions and more importantly projectors which can be really come in, really come in handy for you. And uh, we've also got a headphone input uh, which is great. And then we've got a SD card slot and a SIM card slot where you can put in your uh, unlocked SIM. Uh, it doesn't have a SIM lock, so any SIM card works with it. And um, that's basically it as far as the features are concerned of uh, the built-in ports. You've got the power connector, and uh, that's about it. Um, all I have to mention is that uh, there's also built-in motion and light sensors and obviously a lot more flexibility with this device than uh, with the iPad.